We live on a wonderful planet, full of diversity, rich in flora and fauna. I've lived in the countryside for 20 years, a place where there's always something to see. Our land is as colourful as any artist's paint palette. Our earth is adorned with all sorts of textures and flavours. In this series, I've left my home county of Norfolk to visit not other green pastures, but our nation's most prolific cities, where there are many surprises in store. Amongst all the concrete and cement is a rich array of natural beauty, pockets of bliss where you can take a respite from the urban bustle and relax. From Oxford to Cambridge, we've explored the peaceful meadows and parkland that blend so well in with the architecture. And this week, join me in a more contemporary busy city, but where there's still room for nature. Wherever you are in Southampton, there's no escaping natural beauty. From street paths to parks, any morning stroll will take you through a chorus of birdsong or perhaps a scurry by a squirrel. But there's a particular area that is perhaps the most famous for peacefulness, and that's here, the River Itchen. 28 miles in length, the River Itchen is internationally known for fly fishing. Perhaps not here in this wide segment though, but there's no shortage of things to do here. It's not unheard of that dragonflies and kinfishers inhabit these waters, and it's no surprise that the River Itchen has become a site of special scientific interest. For me though, it's a site of special peacefulness. But it's not always about the water. North of the city is the Southampton Common, and it's common for its tranquility if nothing else. The common supports a wide array of fauna, including the largest recorded population of the internationally rare Great Crested Newt. And like the River Itchen, the common is another site of special scientific interest. Population of newts, there's all sorts to be found here, like parkland, rough grassland, sometimes pond areas like this. It's even used for the race for life, but for those who want a slower pace of life, the common is the very place for relaxation. And further south, is another Green Flag award-winning series of parklands and a generous area offered for chilling after a hard day in the office. Central parks were established in the mid-1800s and now remain in their original position 
in a Grade 2 listed state. Together, these five parks make up 21 hectares and have been described as a green oasis. And it isn't hard to see why. Each park is unique, whether that may be through shape or by its monuments. Here in West Park, famous Southampton author and philosopher Isaac Watts stands proud. But it's here in East Park that has the highest concentration of trees, shrubs and spring flowering bulbs. There's even a 1930s rock garden with two ponds. It's been known as a site to sit and contemplate. But then that's the beauty of these parkland areas. You could use them to walk your dog, or maybe you're meeting with friends. But no matter what time of the year you visit, there's always something to see. Southampton could so easily have turned into an urban jungle, swamped in brick, but instead there's a generous area devoted to natural space. What more could you want?